recently got the chance to chat with Kitty Young, the amazing inventor who makes wearable tech dresses using Intel's Tiny Tile and other microcontrollers. Check it out! And this one is already oh. on Hexter. Cool. That's another Curie dress you saw. Awesome. And it uses the accelerometer on it. Ah, yeah. So do you want to turn them on and see? Sure. Right I need to have like a bunch of spare batteries here. I need to just yeah. have that. Where do you get your, so, your dresses? Oh, this one actually, it, it was a project I was making for uh, someone else. Uh -huh. And uh, I asked her to pick a dress for, um, for her uh, size. Oh, yeah, cool. So we decided together to go for like a silvery gold look. Uh -huh. And I have a sketch for this one. So cool. it was originally in white. And then we decided on the colors, so she sent me this, and uh, I just added on the tag <laughs> part. This is using the accelerometer. This one you can attach it to your arm. This is using tiny tile. Uh huh. How do you attach it? Uh, I actually I have the bracelet <laughs> that goes awesome. with it. So you put the the battery in the pocket. Oh, it's a little felt pocket. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. It changes angle, uh, as you change angles, it will change colors. Ah. Yeah. So do you usually see the dress first and then get the idea? or like? No, I usually think about the dress uh -huh. and then just uh, get materials to make it. So I would actually just have the design in my mind uh -huh. first. Cool. I gotta ask, is this Mars? It looks like it's oh, yeah. lenticular, and so I'm it changes. Where, yeah, I'm oh, wearing one. Cool one. <laughs> <laughs> so this one you can actually buy. Now that's so cool. Yeah, I have a link on my website. Uh -huh. So this one, it, yeah, exactly using the uh, lenticular, and this is my painting. Oh my god, um, no way! So you can look at the full picture from the back. You got a dress of your painting? Yeah. And you made one? And um, and then I added this on, so uh, the dress and came that's without the. painting is yours. Yeah. So this <laughs> is the um, the um, eclipse. That happened two years ago. No way. That's the uh, super blood moon eclipse. Uh -huh. So I painted that, and um, this is the full picture. So it also changes Whoa. from a full moon to an eclipse. Oh, yeah. And this one. Sweet. Is also my painting. Oh, that's gorgeous. So it's one of my first ones that I started using my painting uh -huh. and pu uh, put electron microcontrollers inside. Mm. So. Um, What's this candy? You can, can hold, hold it. it. Do you, oh, I have oh. brought my cable. Hey! <laughs> cool. So it has wings that will. Oh use. my god, no way! Yeah. So sometimes we need to get the right angle for uh -huh. it to show better. So I show this one at fashion shows, uh -huh. including the San Francisco Fashion Week. Cool. And yeah, I have models wearing this. Uh -huh. and, the wings moving. <laughs> so this cool. actually was the first one that I ever built with microcontrollers. What do you call it? Uh, the dress. Uh -huh. uh, lotus. Cool. Yeah. So because I painted this um, uh -huh. pound with lotuses and fish. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite That's flowers. Beautiful. <laughs> and I have some Chinese uh, element in it. Uh -huh. And it is. Um, oh, I yeah. use the embroidery as buttons, uh -huh. so I can put cool. it connect that to the button here to, oh, yeah. to close it. So this one is using the Arduino. Uh -huh. uh, this is lily pad. Oh, yeah. So you turn it on. Uh -huh. It has a it's very lily, autumn. lily pad. Autumn. It's got a twinkle in it. Mm -hmm. So they will randomly shine different leaves at a time. That's awesome. Yeah. And I only picked two colors to match with my painting. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of important the colors you, you choose. Um, sometimes it's easy to do like a rainbow color, uh -huh. but then sometimes it doesn't really match no, the yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. So, How yeah. did you make the jump, if you consider it a jump, from applied physics to uh, to fashion? Or, uh, I mean, obviously they're related. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's necessarily a jump. Uh -huh. um, I think it's pretty natural. Uh, so I actually always did art. Uh -huh. So when I was a kid, I liked music and mm -hmm. art, I painted and play the piano and sing. I'm still singing and play the piano awesome. and learn harp. Um, and I, I thought, so at some point <laughs> in my student career, mm -hmm. I had to make the choice between science and art. Mm. And I, I love them both, but I, I thought if I 
do art, I may not be able to continue doing science. But yeah. if I do science, I may still do art as a yeah. hobby on the side. So that's my, my choice. Yeah. I kept on doing that. Um, so undergrad, I was quite busy, so I focused only on work. Mm -hmm. So I only studied physics and math and um, chemistry and material sciences. Cool. And then I focused on physics after my third year. Mm. Um, so after four years of hard work, I, I yeah. had very good um, education in physics, very concrete. Um, and then I continue to do PhD. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, I wanted to um, broaden my scope a bit. So I picked up my childhood uh -huh. uh, love again. I started painting again and sang and did a lot of music, um, sang in the choir. And also, um, every year I participated in the graduate school um, magazine for oh. art. Uh, so they have a magazine for students to submit articles, poems, music, and art, uh, photography, and everything. Mm -hmm. So I always participated. Every year I had some paintings published. Cool. So that was really nice. And it was nice to have that impetus to keep yeah. like finishing stuff. Yeah, you know? so, so that's where I found my balance. Mm. I had very good um, academic achievement as well as um, artistic achievement. Mm. Um, so I just kept on doing that even after I started working. So awesome. I think that's very helpful for me to be more efficient. So this one is more traditional, it glows in the dark. And the pattern, um, I took a traditional pattern and then modified it mm. to make it more interesting. Yeah, it's really it's got this cool little I actually, thing going yeah. on the bottom. I actually wear this to work. It's oh yeah? pretty work appropriate. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so so I actually have an idea of a robot yeah. design, which is all this dress right now. Oh, no way! <laughs> so this one I got... Um, oh, you have a 3D printed case right Yeah. There. Wow. Big Dipper, Big Dipper as an yeah. indicator. Um, so when it turns on, I hold it <laughs> still and it tells me, okay, ready to read. Cool. So I think I probably need. Ah, oh, Orion, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I chose four characters to uh -huh. represent the four constellations on it. So uh -huh. Big Dipper is M. Um, For Ursa Major? Yes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have Cassiopeia oh. and Cygna. Oh, nice. Yeah, I need kind of need to put it on to, to get the right gesture working. But you mm. saw Orion working. Yeah. <laughs> Orion is O. Oh. Yeah. So can we look at some of your designs? Mm -hmm. And we're going to put those on the screen for you uh, and hear what Kitty has to say. Okay. <laughs>